So, seems my area seems to be a stickler for protests. Because they're protesting. Sounds like a protest for education. Yes, that was another protest that has come by my house. We're always getting a lot of protests lately. Um, so I decided to do a review, not a review, an update on my urban garden. My peppers seem to be the ones that are growing the most. So this is one of the newer peppers that are growing. There was a bud on this plant that when my daughter was showing it to the baby she knocked off so there was another one that looked like it was going to grow but she knocked it off um we have this pepper here i don't know if you guys can see it aha there it is it's right there so that pepper is growing and then we have the biggest one which was growing when we harvested our peppers that were ripe. So we have three peppers growing and one potential pepper. We had two potential peppers right here. Sorry. We had two potential peppers, but as I said, my daughter knocked one off. So those are my peppers. And in the same pot with my peppers are two avocado plants. I don't know if you can tell the difference this right here is an avocado stem and it's growing up to here it's two of them here's the other one and that one is a bit taller it's going to the top and then we have our rosemary and our shard the ginger is growing like crazy I have more ginger growing in the kitchen but I have yet to plant them and then we have back here our 
my basil which we've used a lot of the basil and we have been keeping oh excuse me oh there we go we have been keeping the seeds those are seeds right there so i'm hoping to grow some more last we have our collard greens in this pot and i don't think it's going to stay in this pot because i don't think that's going to allow it to grow bigger much bigger than that so i'm going to look for another pot to put it in i wanted to show you guys this box because i was thinking about converting this box into a plant box and i don't really know if it needs to be lined or not but um it's a nice size it's a wooden block it's not pressed wood. well this might be pressed wood i'm not sure but this is real wood this might be plywood i'm not sure and the bottom is pretty sturdy as well so if anyone has any ideas on how to turn this if the boxes that are being turned from boxes to a plant box if it needs to be lined you could let me know okay it's a nice size and i have sitting it on a table here that reaches up to my window so i kind of want to turn this space into another area where i can put plants that don't need that much light because this is not facing west or east so it's not going to get any direct sunlight but any plants that i can plant that do not need direct sunlight if you know of any of those plants also you can put it in the comments below please put it where where am i put it in the yes put it in the comments below if you know how to change this into a planter or if you know what type of plants are good to grow in indirect sunlight let me close this screen again i opened it to give you all a better look of the protest we're gonna go check out my um other plants give me a minute so just to give you a look at the ginger that's growing this is ginger that needs to be planted these three plants here one two and three this is an onion i don't think this is going to take off that's also an onion but um it's there and someone i saw a video of how to start an aloe plant and i'm not sure if that's what they did but anyway we're trying it's just an experiment why not then of course we have our mint so this is mint i keep forgetting about this plant this was a plant that i got out of the park but it's not doing well because i took too long to plant it yeah this was blue violet anyway maybe i'll get some more and as you can see my shadow benny it's not doing well at all it's growing i think it needed its own pot if somehow i can separate this out of this pot and put it in another one i think it might come back to life and of course my time has taken over this pot and it's growing like crazy it has this long stem here and this really long stem here which is like growing up the window there's that one and then there's the third one which is growing even further up the window and then the most the biggest one which is growing let me turn it sideways you can see better sideways even further all the way up to the top of the window that's how high it's growing it's kind of ridiculous the way it's growing and I'll probably cut some of this and make some thyme soap. I said that before and I haven't done it. And this is my plantain. I have to do my video with my Patreons to do a making video. We made uh, oil infusion with plantain. Plantain leaf is really, really good for the skin. This feels like this is leaking. I don't know why. When you make it, it's good to give it a shake several times a day. So I had two different versions of the plantain. One made a traditional way and one made where you can make it super strong. So this is the super strong ingredients version and this is the normal version. So these are my plants. We're going to check out my potato in a minute, my sweet potato. Hold on. So this is the sweet potato. And all of the leaves on the bottom portions of the vines were dying off. But then I got some more spouts that started to grow. This one here. 
and these down here um so i guess that's a good thing i was looking and they were saying that from the videos that i saw that you don't want to overwater them you want to like let the water dry out and then water it again and the water in the bottom of this pot let me see if i can show you has been in here for a minute draining so i haven't watered it again in a minute because i don't want to overwater and i'm thinking that's what was happening and that's why it was dying so i'm not going to water it again until that grows out dries out so this is i put a little thing up here to get it to go over to kind of hold the vines because sweet potato grows as a vine and you can see some more dead leaves up here so i'm probably going to pull those off let me see if i can get them now sometimes they don't come off that easily i don't know why aha that came off quick okay i can't get that one there we go Alrighty, so that's my sweet potato and you can see one vine growing up the window all the way up that's my sweet potato and apparently you can eat the leaves but i have not tried that um yeah so i will keep you updated thank you guys for watching my urban garden update please if you have any suggestions or any comments leave them below please subscribe please like and share and if you're already a subscriber thank you for subscribing and if you wish to support all of the different adventures that I am involved with, you can join us on Patreon. I will be making a new Patreon for all of our already Patreons. Hmm. Our already subscribed Patreons will be making a new video soon for you guys. A DIY. I do all my DIYs on Patreon. So if you wish to join me in the making of different types of tinctures and all kinds of lovelies you can become a patreon for as little as three dollars a month thank you all for watching and i will see you on the next video don't forget to subscribe bye bye